I, I don't know if we're live yet. It's there's I the know, blue line. Know. It's, it's always, <laughs> it's always <laughs> a big mystery. <laughs> it's always a mystery, but I think we're actually live. So okay, welcome great. everybody. <laughs> I am Jackie Bailey and I have with me here, Justine Reese. We are known as the power Jays in the speaking community because we are both about helping our messages get out in a powerful way. Although we focus on different aspects of that. Yeah. Um, Justine, you can talk about what you do in the mechanics of the voice. And and then, you know, I I talk about how to get your message developed so that you can use the right. mechanics of your voice to get it out there in the world. What we have Absolutely. in common right now is that we are going to Tanzania. We yeah. are going to Tanzania to use these different skill sets to help empower the voices of the youth in Tanzania in various ways. We are working with uh, the Naguzu women who have an organization in Tanzania. And one of their major focuses is a big stigmatized epidemic going on with the adolescent girls. When they get their periods, they stop going to school because they don't have proper hygiene. They're ridiculed. There is a lot of stigma, stigmatization going on and that you quoted the amount of school they potentially could miss, which obviously makes sense being that you have a, at least a week out of the year, every month that you are, every month that you are menstruating, that's yeah. 20% of the days missed. And then a lot of them just get so frustrated and never go back. Right. Yeah. Yeah. They get so far behind in their work that they can't catch up. Um, and when when you feel like you failed in that regard, then you don't want to go back, right? right? So what happens when the girls don't go back to school, then sometimes their parents marry them off at a very young age. Sometimes they have to turn to prostitution to make money for the family because they're not going to get educated. Um, sometimes they're trafficked into situations like that. And sometimes the girls will even be blackmailed by their prof their school teachers or professors to say, if you want to come back, you got to do something for me. So it is just a bad situation all the way around. And it's sad because this is just the natural way our bodies function as women. And there's nothing we can do about it. And yet these yeah. girls are being stigmatized because of it. So I was asked last fall by Aika and Nika, who is the founder of the Nguzu Women and Youth Foundation, if I would come and help these girls have a an empowered voice, because mm -hmm. her organization her organization has been helping them have these reusable hygiene products for right. their menstrual cycles, and the girls feel so much better about themselves and what they're able to do that she says they're ready to share their messages. Mm -hmm. Can you come help them? And of course, I went, yeah, I'm going to do that. Yeah. Um, but, you know, you and I belong to such an amazing network of people that I started looking around at all these people and went, hey, wait a second. There's so much talent here. Why just keep it in this one lane? Let's let's open up a big highway of opportunity for these people with talents to come in and share their skills with these kids at the same time. And so when it was brought forth to the community, so many people said, yeah, I can do this and I can do that. And I'll, I'll, I'll come and offer this. And so now there's so many different ways that we're going to be able to support the youth and you and your two sons who are artists yes, <laughs> and coming with creative. their, yeah. yeah. And tell, well, tell everybody, I'll let you talk for your kids. So, so what are yeah. their talents? What are they bringing to the Tanzanian table? Yeah. So <laughs> Uh, it's really awesome. They were very, they were a big fat yes to do this, but Kellen, Kellen Watts is my youngest and he's a filmmaker and he's been doing all kinds of different kinds of content creation from music videos to social media posts for different rappers. He's actually a student. He's a sophomore going into his junior year at UC Berkeley where he's been exposed to lots of things. And he, has always had a camera in his hand since he's been about <laughs> five years old. And I, I think I still have something from kindergarten where, you know, the kids say, what do I want to be? And then they draw a little picture and he had drew a camera in his hand and he said he wanted to be a photographer. And I used to have this big, long lens and he would take it out of my hand. So it's really just been very natural for him. Um, his older brother, Reese, 
is an artist and a graphic artist. And so they like to collaborate. And he's also really taken to photography as well. They collaborate a lot together. Sometimes Kellen will shoot something and Reese will create a logo for it. So mm -hmm. they, uh, and actually my son has actually been to Tanzania. He got to go on a bar mitzvah trip when he was about 13 years old. And some of the images and pictures he took on that trip were incredible. So I think there's a, a bit of going back to that place that he was as a little boy with a lot more knowledge and to have a humanitarian mission behind him to actually make an impact to document these kids and their stories. And our goal with that obviously is to create something that's going to even make more impact for possibly next year and the years to come for our health, hope, and higher aspirations, humanitarian trips because we want, we don't want to just stop here. We want this to be something where the the voices are being heard. And it it sounds like the stories, you know, obviously we don't know everything we're going to get involved in um, over there. Yeah. I am certainly hoping, and I know as you are too, to have some interfacing with the parents because you start, as you started talking, I thought, my gosh, what is happening with the women and the moms of these young girls when this is happening? And did it happen to them too? So they yeah. just have to get into a place of acceptance as opposed to, I don't have a voice. So we don't really know how this is going to go because how could we, but I know that our mission is a very, very important and we are bringing supplies. And Jackie, you have been collecting these, um, re I know everyone's saying disposable, but they're really reusable, the pads, right? I actually right? used that term accidentally when I was making Okay, good. I thought, I thought, <laughs> I, 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 I okay. That's my fault. <laughs> That's okay. Yes. So they're reusable pads yeah. and there's other organizations that have been really impactful, like the pad project. And there's another one I found out in San Diego that, Hey, if you're listening to this, we need your help. We want to do everything we can and also not stop there. We know that there needs to be an ongoing education, which is where uh, the Nguzu women and Aika hopefully are going to help. We're going to help them and they're going to help the the youth there even more. So I hope that this is an ongoing thing. You know, Jackie and I are trying to interface with possibly some schools that might want to continue. I, I don't like the word pen pal because I don't even know if that really is a thing anymore, but yeah. Zoom calls or connections so that the youth here can inspire the youth there and the youth here can be educated on what's actually going on. And then who knows in the future, maybe we take a youth trip, you know, where we take these kids with us. Yeah. So I guess this is, um, that's maybe the impact for having young adults, my kids are 20 and 23, to be a part of this and be a big part of this uh, journey. Absolutely. I mean, we're, we're going to be bridging the gap in so many ways. And um, I'm just so happy that your sons are coming because documenting what we're doing is going to be so important because when these youth get to share their messages, now we can share them internationally with everybody because they'll be recorded, right? right. And right. then those recordings are going to be transcripted. And that, then that's going to be a chapter creation for the Parenting Owner's Manual right. through Dr. Ali Lan Karani's community. And so these kids by our visit are going to get their voices heard. Right. Their messages are going to be seen through the recording and in a book. And that alone, because I work with youth is going to just help them feel so valued because yeah. everybody wants to be heard. And so when we feel that we're heard, it makes such a difference in how we value ourselves. So that's a big, and the tangible, part. the tangible things like yeah. the book or the stories written out, and hopefully the voices, and we know there may be, we may need some translating done. And, and there's a lot of things that the other group that I'm working with that also had, that works with youth a lot is the Dream Bigger Academy. And this is the other area I hope to bring into our, our 10 day, two week trip there is the idea of letting these kids dream bigger, letting them dream beyond their circumstances, letting them, and hopefully some of their stories can come out of this kind of work where they can hopefully sit in a space and imagine what a life would be beyond their circumstances and right. really just get to go inside for 10 minutes. I can't imagine they've maybe ever been led through a journey like that. So I'm excited 
to see how we can utilize some of the skills. And that's through the Dream Bigger Academy. And I'm going to shout out to Justin Michael Williams um, for teaching me. And I became a certified instructor um, of this freedom meditation, which is what it's called. So we're hoping to introduce a lot of new concepts that they and make them practical, make meditation something that they can learn about and turn to. And maybe some of the older kids can grasp some of these ideas to help the youth. I mean, these are, these are a lot of ideas, but I know that once we get their boots on the ground, mm -hmm. we're going to be ready to, to try and make some impact in a, in a way that we don't even know yet we're evolving. Exactly. Cause how cool is it going to be when we ask them about what their life experience is like, what they would love to have happen in their life. Then we can say, we can help you with that. Right. <laughs> right. Because we've and got the right so, people there with us. Right. Exactly. And, <laughs> and, you know, we had a, we had a conversation with a woman from Tanzania yesterday. And one of the things that really stuck with me about that conversation was in many ways, kids are kids, right? We're still kids. Obviously there's massive differences between your environment. Um, and one of the biggest things is, you know, all the kids, even though they have a lot of technology over there, they're not getting their phones as early as the kids do here. So that's a very big difference. And I'm very interested to see how, you know, how does that impact? Is it going to be more like playing in the streets and playing soccer on the on the streets more like it was for when we were growing up? And yeah. Where is that divide? And that's something that they can share a lot of, like how they, they probably wish they had phones. And then sometimes our kids, I know my kids sometimes really wish this was not the way it's because it's so hard to put it down and take a, take a, a mental break from our, from our social media. You know, right. it's very difficult. Yeah. Um, let's just talk for a few more minutes um, about, and say this thing we have coming up, yes. talk up Tanzania. Yep. Jack and I are going to do a special workshop on Juneteenth or June nineteenth, mm -hmm. or uh, a speaking workshop. You want to talk a little bit about that? Yeah, we are. I'll be up front. We're raising money for yeah. our Tanzania trip, and so Justine and I are putting our talents out there for your benefit. <laughs> but it'll cost you mm -hmm. <laughs> because <laughs> the more you pay, the more you're going to get. Right. Um, so we're asking for a minimum $25 donation to our Tanzania 2024 campaign. And then if you give more than that, then you're going to get more from us. Mm -hmm. And it's a 90 minute workshop, maybe two hours. Those of you who really come to play and you, and mm -hmm. you donate uh, more than a hundred dollars, you might get another special half hour with us. And um, we're just going to see what we can, what we can come away with at the end of that time with us. And it depends on what you want to aspire to, you know, higher aspirations is, is the last part of our, our little um, tagline for the campaign. So that goes for you too. What are you aspiring to do more mm -hmm. as a speaker I truly believe Justine and I have the skills to help you get there for one sure. way or another. And so mm -hmm. we're going to be giving of our time for you to reach those higher aspirations for yourself. And uh, you're going to feel good about it, not only because it's a an investment in yourself, but you're also investing in our campaign to serve and impact the youth, the women, the men, the families, the community of Moshi, Tanzania. And so- um, And 100% of your donations are tax deductible Yay. because he's a nonprofit organization, Speak, Feed, Lead. So we are really excited to, the more you give, the more you get, and you <laughs> will walk away with some, you know, even if you don't, you say, I'm not a speaker, you know, we all have, to, we are all tasked now with creating content for our businesses and even just learning skills to have more impactful conversations with our youth. I think Jackie's experience working with so much youth and my experience working with so many different age groups, our voices are our confidence center, really. They really are. And the more you can learn different skills to intone and feel and structure of a story, the more confident you are for a job interview or certainly to get on any stage or to be on a podcast. So if you have your own higher aspirations, let's help you get there with a tax deductible donation to our Talk Up Tanzania workshop that we are going to have, or masterclass, we're going to call it on June 19th, four o'clock Pacific, seven o'clock 
Eastern. Uh, Eastern, and we will have some info uh, continually posted in this yes. uh, on this platform. So we'll look for that. But in the meantime, if you want to go ahead and make your donation, um, anyone that makes a donation from here on out is going to yep. have an invitation to be part of our mastermind. 100%. So for, for now, because we don't have the QR code in front of us for the particular of the workshop, just go to speakfeedlead.org. And what will pop up immediately is our Tanzania campaign. Click on yes. that, make your donation. And like I said, anyone who didn't even hear this today, if they make a $25 donation or more is going to get an invitation to the workshop. <laughs> it's true. So and if you want to give me sharing, sharing, uh, sharing a screen, I could, I have it right here on my computer. I could oh, pop it up. You I could pop could. it up. You want All right. Sharing. Hold on. Let me All give right. you. Let me give you that okay, uh, we're this security really clearance. We're improvising. <laughs> we're improvising just like we do all the time in our lives. And we're going to do a little bit of improv on the workshop. So, sure. the mastermind. <laughs> so here That's we go. Be part of it. Okay, moving this over. This is you're probably seeing way too many things here, but That's that right. is a QR code right there. And that's a picture of my two kids. There you uh, go. Let's make a difference in Tanzania. Let's do it. So take out your phone. We know you've got it. It's right yeah. there next to you. Uh, you open sure up your camera. Just point your camera to that. You don't have to take a picture of it. Just point it. And if you wait for the little lines to line up, then you'll see a link that'll come up that'll probably say bit.ly. You click yep. on that and it's going to take you right to the campaign where you can donate right now $25 minimum to be part of the masterclass. If you donate five or 10, we still love you, but you're not going to get in the masterclass. It's got to be 25 or more. So that's it. That's sure. it. And anybody who donates there, the 25 or more, you're going to get the link and you'll get the invitation for June 19th, Talk Up Tanzania. So yep. really, really happy that we got to uh, have a little chit chat today and- yep. We are also, you can DM either one of us um, to get more information on Facebook, certainly, and all the other ways that we are available. Yep, absolutely. So let's play people. Let's play for the kids. Let's talk up. Let's stand up. Let's, um, let's really create this bridge between us and a global community. For most of us in the U.S., it's on the other side of the world, <laughs> over by the equator. And, and let's just do the best we can. Let's make as much impact as we can. Um, get rid of the stigmatism. Get rid of the violence. Mm -hmm. Get rid of the hopelessness mm -hmm. that are often associated with um, kids in these types of situations. And let's let's really let them be heard. Let's let them be seen. Let's Let's show them how much we respect who they are. So... Thank you for watching this all the way through and be sure to comment if you have any questions or want to know more information. So I'm going to stop the live stream. Thank you. I think it might be done and Great. that will stop recording this.